Once again, the people responsible for bringing this show to the air are the great individuals that hail from Lawrence Technological University. I love the people over there. You will too. You got to check it out. LTU should definitely be on your list when you're considering universities. And why not? Because they are offering programs now that are going to be the jobs of the future. And on the line right now, we have Dr. Robert Fletcher, PhD from Lawrence Tech. Dr. Fletcher, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to call tonight. Well, it's really a great opportunity to be with you and to speak with your listeners. So thanks for having me. Absolutely. Again, we love Lawrence Tech. We love everything you guys have going on there. I've been blown away. And you have a program, an alternative energy program. So what does that consist of at Lawrence Tech? Well, really, our program at Lawrence Tech really consists of three areas. And, of course, they involve academics. Every university program, regardless of where you would go, would be consisting of some academics and, and courses that they would take. But there's a couple of other components that we also do at Lawrence Tech, and I'll, I'll go into them just a little bit. Sure, here. sure. The, the other components are really research opportunities for undergraduates in our lab. So academics, research, and then there's people. Uh, faculty who are really interested and knowledgeable in this area and other students who really want to be involved in this. So from an academic's point of view, what we have is we have really two options for students. They can get involved uh, at what we call a concentration level where they can take three what we call technical electives or tech electives right. and they can earn a concentration in that area or if they want to do more extensive education they can actually get a minor in energy engineering, which is comprised of about an additional 18 credits, which would be like going to school for an extra semester. And so with these three areas, academics and, and then the opportunity for research and laboratory work, and then with people that are really enthusiastic and interested in being involved with this, both faculty and other students, we think we've put together a really great program for people to be involved and up-and-coming students that want to be involved in this really, really important area. Well, let me ask you this, because it's all about jobs, right? Parents want, parents want to be able to uh, get their kids into a, uh, a career that is going to be fulfilling, something that gets them out of the house, uh, but, uh, but also something that uh, kids can really be proud of. So what kind of jobs have students um, been able to attain based on the alternative energy degree? Well, you know, that is really a great question. And one of the, an area that we're really proud of at Lawrence Tech, uh, we have several alumni who have gone through our energy program here at Lawrence Tech uh, that are getting great jobs. We have uh, one of our recent students uh, graduated a few years back, and he's now working as a contract installer for wind turbines. He's going around the country and installing wind turbines all over the place. Uh, we have another of a uh, number of other students, one who's working at, at actually a local company, A123. Uh, they're a battery manufacturer who are building all kinds of new types of lithium-ion battery technology. Right. We have a number of students that are working at actually uh, developing hybrid electric vehicles, even at General Motors. And and uh, we have students that are working on the Chevy Volt, you know, the, the hot new electric car that General Motors is working on. Right. We have a, no a number of alumni that are actually working there, students that have had a chance to go to the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado. We have students working at United Solar Avonics. So there are lots and lots of opportunities in this area, and we're really excited to be able to offer a program that students can participate in and go on to these really great jobs. And I understand you also got involved uh, and, and you got funded by the U.S. Army for studying fuel cell durability, right? Yeah, yeah. We recently, just this past December, we just finished a, a three-and-a-half-year project that we worked with them. Actually, we tested fuel cells for over 4,000 hours. We tested them uh, indoors, outdoors, in cold weather, warm environments. And we had about 20 students actually involved in that project over the course of these three years that we worked on it. And those students not only had a chance to work with the technology, but in my lab there at Lawrence Tech, uh, they were actually employees that worked for me, and they had a chance to earn some money along the way. So it was a great opportunity for them. And isn't there something that sits on top of the engineering building that adds to your program? Yeah, actually, we have a couple of... Uh, recently installed systems. Uh, one of them is a 10-kilowatt photovoltaic system that we actually installed a while back. 
Uh, we put that in in the summer, or actually it's really in the spring of 2005, and that system comprises of uh, a large number of photovoltaic panels that we have on top of what we call our high bay in the engineering uh, building, and what happens is that power is brought into the building. It's what we call a grid-tied system, and we also have a battery backup system on that that powers up lights in our quad area on campus at night. We also have a small wind turbine that we installed, and these projects, the thing about these projects is these were done by students. They were right. designed, they were installed, and they were put in place by students, and working with me and uh, some other faculty on campus, uh, students had a chance to get hands-on experience, really theory and practice opportunities uh, doing these projects. So these weren't done by other people. These were done by students on campus. We're talking with Dr. Dr. Robert Fletcher, who is involved with the Alternative Energy Program that consists at Lawrence Tech University. A couple more for you, Doc, before we let you go. I know that uh, you talked about what students are doing. They also took uh, first place for design of a fuel cell powered race car hydrogen fuel cell powered race car yeah actually what this was was there's a an international competition a few years back that Lawrence Tech was one of the uh, two universities in North America that actually competed in it in Europe uh, UCLA was one of the other teams and Lawrence Tech was the other here in the North America that went to Europe and competed and we built a car it's a cart size racing car we called it our element one element one for hydrogen being the first uh, element in the periodic chart, and it comprised of an 8-kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell, and the vehicle was all carbon fiber, all carbon fiber chassis and body, and uh, it was a, it's an amazing vehicle. Uh, we have ridden and driven that vehicle uh, in Europe, and we also took it to the uh, National Hydrogen Conference last year in uh, South Carolina, and again, all designed and built by students. Wow. Well, finally, sir, I know that uh, when we talk about energy of the future, uh, we always hear the words wind, solar, you know, battery. What does it all mean for the students who pursue the alternative energy program? Well, at Lawrence Tech, they actually get a chance to deal with all of those. When you deal with wind energy or solar energy, a lot of times you need to store that energy. So battery technology is also a key component. And we're rolling out new courses in all of these areas. We have had wind and solar courses now for five years. And we're developing new courses for how you integrate and how you tie all of these technologies together. And it's a great opportunity for people who want to get into this field because we have a great program for people to participate in. All right. Hey, Dr. Butcher, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And uh, we're going to keep spreading the word and all the great things you guys are doing out there at Lawrence Tech. Thanks a lot. And it's really a great opportunity for us to talk to your listeners. And I hope they've uh, had a chance to get some more insights on what we're doing at Lawrence Tech. All right. Thank you so much. Great to speak with you. All right. Have a great weekend. Once again, you want more information on that, go to their website, ltu.edu.